So well, how did mm. you get to be Sally? I needed a name because I was starting to go with my sister and said, what's your name? I didn't have one. Yeah. <laughs> Because I hadn't had a need. I was always yeah, dressed alone. Mm. And when I was dressed, I didn't need a name. I was just me anyway. Oh, it's the microphone. Um, so I didn't need one. And I was thinking, started thinking about a name. I should have a name. And I worked in Melbourne, in the central business district. Lived in Torquay. So I caught a night shift. I caught the train from Spencer Street, as it was then all the way, stopping all stations to Geelong. Long trip, <laughs> after you've been awake most of the night. It picked up school kids all the way down to Geelong to go to the big, knobby, rich kids' school in Geelong. And this particular morning, I'm half asleep, trying to struggle through a crossword or something, and all I could hear was this girl yelling out, Sally, and it got to fever pitch. <laughs> and I said, that's my name. Sitting on a train one morning. And Hi, I'm Sally. <laughs> mm. And that's been it. Mm. What's been the, the most, I suppose, the, the, the most positive aspect of, you know, of, of, all, of everything that's happened, and I suppose over the last five years, particularly in terms of, you know, coming out and, and all that sort of stuff, what's been the best? What's been the highlight? There's no one highlight other than life. Uh, time with Monika, we go out together, we enjoy life, we both left our mum's mother's museum, as we call it, because it's, it's an old house. We get on extremely well together now. That's a totally appreciative part of my life. Um, Perhaps we can go back to... I was living in New Zealand, mm. <clears throat> and um, I was wandering around a shop, and it was Sally's birthday, and again, like at this point, from when we had met and talked in our early 30s, and we're now 60, so 30 years really, had gone, um, as, and there was always just the, um, you know, happy birthday, merry Christmas sort of stuff, and so I text and knew that Sally, because from what we talked about, knew that Sally had, had met people, and for some reason I thought that they used to go away to the country in a house and get dressed. I have no idea where I got that idea from. <laughs> but anyway, that was my idea of what had happened. And I think that was somehow through the Seahorse Club. And so I texted and I said, you know, happy birthday. I shouldn't have given your age away, should I? Did I'm only 63 and I'm proud of that. Yeah, so yeah, 60, it was a big one, right? And I went, okay, um, happy birthday. Hope you're gonna enjoy it with some friends, uh, meaning Sally's friends. And the text came back, thanks, um, sometimes I didn't think I'd make it. And it went like this, and it was like, yep, um, I'm, I know that. I, I just knew that. It was a struggle the whole time. And part of it was we had met and talked, and that was great, and then we didn't. We had this huge, you know, I went to New Zealand for 20 years. There's no argument. It was just a huge void yeah. between us. And yeah. so um, that's what happened. And then I came back at the Christmas time to, oh, no, I was actually enrolled. I wanted to, I've, I've had this thing about understanding all my life because it's impacted my life as well. Um, so I had actually got into gender studies in Dunedin. They'd cross thing owed me some of my points. So I was in the middle of packing up to go down to Dunedin. Is this all right? Yeah. So to go to Dunedin and, um, uh, then it was like my mum's youngest sister, the anniversary of her death, and I knew that mum would not be dealing with that very well. So I came back. But before I came back, Sally had said, because it was like two cell phones, I'm in the back of, you know, Nelson somewhere with hills and dales, you're in the middle of wherever whoop, whoop. you are in the whoop whoops, and I couldn't hear, like, well, I rang. Oh, after this thing, I rang because I was concerned. And so I started talking. And um, and she said, look, have a look on my Facebook page. You know, this is how you get into it. And I'm going, what did you say? What did you say? And so text me. And so I did. And from that, we started to email. And then I said, uh, can I meet your friends when I came over at Christmas time? And uh, there was no answer. And I thought, oh. Doesn't he want she want me to want me to meet 
her friends um, and I arrived on a Wednesday and on the Thursday, I stayed with my mum of course, on the Thursday she rang and um, said, do you want to come out tomorrow night? And it's like, yep. And that's where it happened. It's just like, yeah, we've just gone to all sorts of things and it's, it's uh, to me, it's the best, that would, to me, that's the highlight of my life mm. in that sense of now we don't have to keep it a secret, you know, you can be who you are, I can be who we are and that's it, mm. yeah. I guess the high point of my life, and it was nearly touched on, I knew of Seahorse back in the 80s. I didn't need them because I was self-sufficient in my own needs. I was living in a country town, which I still live in. Its nickname is The Swamp. It's got a rude name, so I won't mention it. <laughs> um, and I was working, living in this town, living alone with my secret. There again, I was alone with my secret. Drinking too much and nearly contemplating suicide. I got to the point of thinking about where am I going to put the rope? Yeah. Or what am I going to put the rope over? So I rang Seahorse, and that was about this time five years ago. And from there, I made contact with a couple of the girls from Seahorse. I went to DT's as a guy in May five years ago. And I can actually tell you the date. On the 27th of June 2009, I first walked out the door in public as Sally. And people say, that must have been an exhilarating feeling. I said, no, not really. <laughs> the highlight of the whole going out for the first time thing, and the bit that I remember the most is shutting the front door from the outside. And that was the highlight of the going out. And I thought, this mm. is just life, and I'm enjoying it. So I've progressed through Seahorse to the point where I've left Seahorse. I don't need Seahorse because I'm transitioning. I've got a good group of friends. I do a lot of advocacy work for trans people and well, here I am today, mm. happy, mm. with a great sister and good friends. Uh, so thank you very much Sally and Monika for coming in and sharing your story and, and telling us a little bit about your lives. It's been mm -hmm. great, loved it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much.